Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now with the Ladies official introductions, here is this Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The gentleman. And now as soon as he's opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 to a player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's nothing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. in a single collar tie. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. You can't take any of those, you better check. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. 
as well. We'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Ooh, head kick lands. Nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Big punch lands through the middle. He is all about that left kick to the body. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Big ball punch, man. Now we get back to range. Trying to kick the leg out. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, single collar tie here. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, and he lands yet another uppercut. So those strikes have come in bunches tonight, really starting to find some consistency. He's finding consistency because he knows that that is a strike that he can find at any time. He's so confident in finding that uppercut that it's landing over and over again. Oh, Superman punch! Spinning back fist. Unable to connect this. Left hand punch from the clinch. Sneaky head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice head kick. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Big kick lands. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already. And DC, I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Nice slip to avoid the left. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Make first contact. He blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Goes back to that left kick once again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, big head kiss. All right, single collar tie now. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, no Telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a Telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Right hand landed.
Connects with a right. Wow, what a kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Hands high, hands high. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent can react. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to the expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Big head kick land. Oh, that big knee, knee there. That knee hurt him. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. He went high on that one. Attempt there, blocked. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. Landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Nice leg kick lands. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. And now he's got that tie clinch. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice right hand, John. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. It's nice body kick. Got the single collar tie. And they set it up. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, collar tie. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. No! Oh, he might be out. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. That last round's over. He took his best shots and smiled back. Now it's your turn. You have to 
All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big body kick land. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Lands a strike there. Yet again, they will clinch here. Lands flush with that right hand. Single collar tie now. Oh, a huge block there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And now he's got the tie clinch. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Oh, he's bleeding from his eyebrow. That shot cut him. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Big kick lands. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away, but that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter. Real quick leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Counters with a left punch. Able to check that kick as well. We got him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Just over two minutes to go. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Lands with the ground and pound. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to the feet now. Watch the strike. Lands the right hand. All right, single collar tie now. Punch over the top. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Looking to land the leg kick now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. He's got the over-under now in the clinch. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too. When you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. 
Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Take a deep breath and relax. Let's clear the cobwebs. We got rocked that last round, but you're fine. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Liver kick. Take those kicks. It's going to shut your body off. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, man, that, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Beautiful spinning attack there. That one appeared to stun him. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Blocks the shot. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Well, he's got the kick game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, big punch man. Block there. Nice kick. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that side kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Body now that shot blocked. Alright, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Caught the kick. Got the single collar tie. Throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Dig and kick. Oh, collar tie. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, just misses with the kick. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Try to establish that jab. Good stick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. And they separate. Nice kick. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he caught the leg. Oh, a nice job to catch the leg and work it right into a takedown. Beautiful transition there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Stuff the takedown. Right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for bottom. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Whiffs on the right hand. Nice head kick. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his... Whoa! It landed some nasty strikes. He's got him hurt here. Oh! Oh! Though his leg is hurt here, you can even see him limping a little bit. Single collar tie now. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. And he caught the kick. Beautiful leg kick. Right hand on point. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. He blocks the punch. Single collar tie here. Ooh, big shot lands. Right punches there. Beautiful head kick. Right hook to the head block. Big kick. Beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Oh! He's, He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man.
So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 23 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon. Can you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.